Hi world, how are you doing? My name is B.O.B. Formerly known as Bob, Bobby Ray. And I want to tell, I'm right here chilling with Sugar Scape. I want to tell you my five favorite albums I can't live without. One, no, no, I'll go backwards. Five, the fifth album, um, It's Dark and Hell is Hot by DMX. The reason I chose this album is because this album is the album that basically taught me how to rap. It's basically the album that that made me study the craft of rap, and like write it out and study it. <clears throat> and that was the first hip hop album that I actually owned a copy of. The fourth on this list is uh, John Mayer Continuum. The reason why I chose this one is because I think just the the way he put the music together on the album, um, it really taught me a lot about making songs. You know, just with you know, just the the guitar playing and 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 just the the lyrics also, you know, the depth of the lyrics, you know, it really it really pulls you in. Um Third on this list, I have Coldplay, A Rush of Blood to the Head. I chose A Rush of Blood to the Head because um, that album really, it was really raw. You know, it really had an organic feel to it. You know, and uh, a lot of the songs as well taught me a lot about making songs and just the, the art behind when you're really in that groove, you're making a good song, and you know it's good. Second, I have Broken Bells, self-titled album, Broken Bells. And Broken Bells, I love the album. You know, if you don't know, Broken Bells is the uh, Danger Mouse and the lead singer from The Shins. And the uh, just the, you know, I'm, I've always been a huge Danger Mouse fan. Um, and the this album is something that I can just loop in my sleep and just play it the whole way through and just n won't get tired of it like I just stopped playing it so I so I could just not play it so much <laughs> and finally first on this list is Niles Barkley Saint Elsewhere speaking of Danger Mouse CeeLo Green and Danger Mouse come together to make Niles Barkley and on this first album it was the album that that showed me that there are people in the world who like who like different music and it is possible to do something different outside of the norm and succeed at doing it and for me that was like the that was like the example for me to that allowed me to be free in, in my music and those are the five albums that I can't live without Thank Sugar you. Skate <laughs>